That's right, you guys. So we're gonna learn about oxidation and acidic liquids versus alkaline liquids. Yeah, if you wear this, we have gloves on. We do, we have gloves on for safety because we're gonna be messing with all of these different liquids and we don't want it to irritate our skin. Make sure before doing any science experiments that you always have a grown-up's help. All right, you guys, so first what we need to do is we need to find out what oxidation is. And we have a really good friend who's gonna help us explain that. Bananas, can you help us explain? Thanks, Mom. Hi, boys and girls. Have you ever seen an apple turn brown? Looks gross, huh? Ew. When apples turn brown, it's called oxidation. When an apple is cut, the tissues inside are exposed to the oxygen in the air. This causes an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, or PPO, to react and it turns the apple brown. Since PPO is common in plants, it will do the same thing to potatoes, pears, and even bananas. Wow, cool. How'd I do, Mom? You did a great job explaining that, Bananas. Thank you so much. So now that we know what oxidation is, we are going to have an experiment to see if we can slow it down. But first, we need some apples. Perfect, so now we have our apples. What we're gonna do is place one apple in each jar and we're gonna have one that we're gonna do nothing to and we're gonna compare the results. Do you know the easiest way to tell if a liquid is alkaline or acidic? That I do not know. By tasting it. Oh. So if it is acidic, it's going to have a really sour taste like lemon juice or the ginger and ginger ale or the uh, tomatoes and ketchup. And if it doesn't taste sour like milk and water and vegetable oil, then it is going to be alkaline. Can you guess for me which one of these liquids that you think is going to stop the apples from oxidizing? You think the cold water. Why do you think the cold water? Because it's got like no color and it's just white. Okay. I, I think that too because it's got no acid in it. Got no acid in it. Okay, so we have our hypotheses and now we are going to put our apples in. We have, we're using tongs so we don't get any of this on our fingers. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these sit and then we're gonna compare them to the one that we did nothing with. Then plop it in and don't stick it in the water. Just, there you go. Don't drop it. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I do it every one I want this? You can do it in any order you want. It doesn't matter. Are you scared? <laughs> nice job. Mm -hmm. Two more. Oops, good job. One more. I did the one. That's okay. So we are going to let these apples sit and we will be back to find out what happened. Alright everybody, so we are back and now we are ready to see which ones we were able to slow down the oxidation yeah, on. If, if you wear us, we are wearing gloves. No. We're still wearing our gloves. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the alkaline ones and we're going to put it on the plate next to the base one and we're going to talk about the differences that we see. All right, so we're going to pull out the almond milk one first. Oh my God, it's clear. Okay, we're just going to dab it off a little bit. And we're going to put it right next to our control. See, the almond milk one is a lot more cleaner. So yeah, the, the control is a lot drier. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it has clean on, on the top. Now we're going to check the maple syrup one. Ooh, sticky. One thing that we're noticing is that the control one is going to be drier because it wasn't in any liquid. But I did notice the maple syrup one does have a little oxidation on it. And this is the one you guys had picked to oxidize the slowest. So the water one, your hypothesis was that one would slow, would have the least amount of oxidation, but it has oxidized, hasn't it? So now we're gonna do the vegetable oil. I noticed that the I just like that this black. Yeah, so the edges on the one that was in the vegetable oil had started to oxidize really, really fast. Now let's get to the acids. I wonder if the acids, if you think, are going to be better or worse than the ones that were in the alkaline. Um, better. You think they're going to be better? I think they're going to be better. Let's see if we can find the one that's in the ketchup. I noticed that the edge is a little black. I noticed that it's in green on the special part. Now this one is the one that smells nasty. 
I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't look too pretty either. Yeah. I see that it's like more wetter. It got a lot darker, didn't it? Yeah. It's a lot more brown. Okay, now we're gonna do the lemon juice. What a The lemon juice is a lot more brighter. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't really oxidize that much. And it's got more like wetness to it on the side. Right, on the skin. The skin is still a lot brighter and the meat of the apple still looks nice and fresh, right? Yeah. And finally, ginger ale. This one has started to oxidize as well, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. You guys, which one do you think it looks the freshest? Lemon juice. The lemon juice? Yeah, I agree. The lemon juice. Okay, so the lemon juice actually slowed down the process of the oxidation the best. Was your hypothesis right? Head on over to our Instagram page at Daniel's Playhouse and let us know if you guessed the right answer. And we hope you guys enjoyed our new friend Bananas. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by Daniel's Playhouse and we will see you next time. Remember to keep exploring your world around you.